Hi guys, welcome back to New Drum Drinker. Ant and I are in the bar again for another review. Are you ready? I was born ready. <laughs> always. So cliche. Always ready for a whiskey though, aren't we? <laughs> oh yeah. I was born ready for a whiskey. Yeah. Always, that That's yeah. a new saying. Yeah. I was yeah. born ready for a whiskey. <laughs> Let's tell them what whiskey we're reviewing then. Three ships. Whiskey, it's the South African single malt 12 year old. This is the Master Distillers Private Collection. So we not long ago did a Q&A with Andy Watts of Baines and he talked about this ever such a lot and obviously lots of people have uh, tried this and Ant was interested so he put it on his Christmas list and he must have been good at some point last year because Santa delivered. And I've seen on Instagram and things like that, a lot of people have been posting reviews, pictures. So I think I wasn't the only person who kind of interest was piqued yeah. by and this. And there's not a lot of South African whiskey out there. So it's good to try yeah. from different countries yeah. and just mix it up a bit. The bottle. <laughs> you always do that. You always manage to just put it right in front of my face. So... The bottle. Okay, so oh, it's okay. a, I would say, bottle shape, pretty standard. Mm -hmm. Looks like a lot of, it could be the monkey shoulder bottle, I would imagine, yeah. if you had the, the monkeys on the top. But it's a pretty standard shape mm -hmm. bottle. Label's nice. Mm -hmm. I, I like, like the, the dark grey. Yeah, I like the grey and, and the, the gold. gold. It's kind of a nice um, mm -hmm. embossed yeah. kind of thing going on. So some thoughts been put into mm -hmm. it. It's got all the information you need around the label. Mm -hmm. And I like on the cork, it does say it's got like yeah. the three ships picture. Mm -hmm. So that's yeah. quite nice. Which is nice. So it's got all the nice touches. Yeah. It's um it doesn't scream out to me as being anything <laughs> as being anything it's like a game, isn't too, it? Too, you... um extravagant. But it it's nice. It's I mean nice. the box is if you can see the box up mm -hmm. here, box match is quite nice. Yeah. The, the rose gold and the dark grey, yeah. very contemporary colours. It's a nice it's look. Nice. It's I would say modern yes. is, the, is the look. Nice. So uh yeah, very nice. like I want to go so this is the colour <laughs> <laughs> but you wouldn't do that to me would not you? at all okay so the colour is it's very light it's natural yeah it's natural once you're filtered they call it light golden I would probably wouldn't say light golden no. it's probably a bit sunshine, more sunshine me? straw yeah, colour um, it's a nice colour uh, legs on it are 12 year old average okay. I'd expect more for mm -hmm. 12 year old to be mm -hmm. honest, but it's all right, it's not too bad. ABV is it 46.3? Yeah, so it's a nice colour. Yeah. It's it's rich and it looks very inviting. Yeah. So And points to them for it being natural as well. Mm, so yeah, definitely. let's get on to the nose. On the nose, and has got warm peat, fruity, rich cake, custard and icing sugar. Nikki got peat, buttery biscuits and a spirit note with dried fruits. So on the nose, this to me is gorgeous because it's got all of those qualities that I really enjoy in a nose on a whiskey. It's, it's like a cream tart, like a custard slice, that kind of thing with all the hard pastry with the soft custard in the middle with that icing on the top it's got all of those notes it's the best way i can explain it to you myself. know he likes a cake I like and a he cake. likes to explain whiskies like cakes if a whiskey can make me think of a cake it's one <laughs> uh, it's game over you do. so um, the award is it's cake <laughs> it's, that's it see you <laughs> tomorrow <laughs> yeah see you next week job done great video thank you very much <laughs> um no in all, all joking aside it is a lovely nose yeah. it's um it's just what what yeah. do you think in comparison because the peat is there isn't there you don't necessarily get that kind of no i didn't get that at all the, it, the sweetness made me think of like a buttery biscuit mm. you know like a shortbread or a cookie that yeah. you snap in half that's what i was thinking but the peat is so delicious and i love saying that when you mm. think for how many months and years i couldn't drink peat just that lovely soft smoky mm. peat yeah. but actually this is quite a sweet whiskey, mm -hmm. and I don't always like sweet whiskeys, but it balances I, I it out for me. I was just about to say that because it's almost like you 
me anyway, I discarded the peat note because yeah. everything else was so yeah. like Moorish and yeah. gorgeous. Yeah. So the peat's there in a but light me, way, yeah. but it it doesn't become the only note or yeah. the overriding yeah. note. It's that creamy custardy chaos. Yeah. Oh. But you're probably more show. used to the peat note, whereas for me, when I yeah, know the whiskey, the maybe. peat is the first thing I yeah, get. Yeah, maybe that's right, maybe because it's not such a strong peat note mm. that it's easy for me to kind of disregard yeah. and move on to the other but notes. But for me, that's the first thing that I get, yeah. yeah. And then, but to be fair, then I got the, um, like I said, the butteriness. There is a slight um, fruitiness, not very fruity. I think you're thinking more cake-wise. Yeah. There's a, there's a slight dried fruit, which made me think of, you know, like a cookie. Mm. That's what I was thinking. But it's the butteriness, the sweetness, almost like maybe icing sugar or something. Yeah. I'm getting that, but with the peat, which sounds really weird. It'd be like mm -hmm. eating a biscuit in a peat mm -hmm. field. <laughs> I, I remember when, we, when I first had this at Christmas, um, one of our um, certified original members asked me what I thought of it. And I must admit, I was quite down on it because I wasn't that impressed. I think it was probably either the neck pour or yes, I hadn't maybe. given it enough time in the glass to open up. Because obviously, you know, we do these videos, we pour the whiskies, we get all set up and then we come back to it. So it can be five, ten minutes before we get to the whiskey. It's like a different animal now. Oh, really? It's, it's really good. opened up yeah. well. So the one thing I'd say is give it a little bit of time mm. in the glass before you go in yeah. and enjoy it. Yeah. On the palate, Ant said it's cold, thin, malty, spicy, with less of a cake note and slightly drying. Nikki said she got peat, icing sugar sweetness, floral, heather, light and delicate. Again, Ant and I got different notes. <laughs> it's a theme here. For me, maybe because the peat flavour is so prevalent for me, I know it's probably not peaty for you, Mr. Octomore, but I got all those lovely floral notes, the hair that it was quite delicate for me. It's, I don't find this a heavy whiskey at all. Yeah, I find I mean, it nice. I would say for me, the peat is very integrated, which is a good word I would imagine for this whiskey because it's there, you know it's there. And if you're a peat drinker, you will obviously be aware of it, but it's nicely, it's just nicely, it, I don't know how to explain it. Integrated is a good word. Integrated is good, but it's almost like it, it's, it's, it's in, it's just all in there. It's all working together kind yeah. of thing. Nothing is kind of fighting it. It's, it's an enjoyable dram in all of the different ways without one being the overriding So I factor. love how you say that because I'm not disagreeing with you, but my experience is different. Probably mm. because, again, the peat for me is a big flavour note. Do you think it overrides everything else though? No. What I was going to say was I've got peat and then I've got this floral, delicate, icing sugar light lightness. Okay. Yeah. And I feel like I've got the peat and then I've got this. Okay, so you've got to I like don't get think through the peat to get to yes. those. Okay. I think they're two completely separate flavours. I think the peat for me is the first note I get all the time. And then I get those delicate, light, icing sugar, sweet floral okay. notes. Yeah, I've got two things going on. But I think that's because my brain is going, whoa, that's peat. But actually, that's really sweet at the same time. It doesn't is that feel... A, is that a negative or positive? It's not a or... negative, but you know some whiskies, I would say, they're so balanced and the flavours are balanced all mingling. Was the word I was looking yeah. for earlier on. I just think there's... For me, I am tasting two separate notes in okay. this whisky. Okay. Yeah. But... I still think because I it... probably find peat harder to... To... Disim... Uh, not dissimilate. What's the word? Like I find peat harder to just take in with yeah. all the other flavors. It peat to me is still peat okay. because it's so new to me as a yeah, flavor. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I get you. I yeah, get you. yeah. So it, you you're kind of giving the whiskey a little bit of a break because it's more your issue with your yeah, journey. It's not bad, and journey. it's not negative with regards to the whiskey. To me, bad. I've got two flavors going on. It's yeah. not. A, they're not mixing. They're not. They're not beautifully integrated which is what you're saying, but I think that's because peat is a big flavour yeah. for me. So I suppose this, in essence, to us, or to you maybe, is a revisit. 
you probably Envy, come back yeah, to it yeah. down the road. And I'm not just liking it because to me, the sweetness is what I need to balance off the peach. Yeah. So this is delightful, absolutely delightful. Yeah. But yeah, I agree. And maybe as we get further down the bottle, or do you know what I mean? I don't drink a lot of peated whiskies. I know that mm. I can drink them now. I'm not going to naturally reach for one on the shelf. Yeah, I, don't. I still think you're finding your way. Yeah, definitely. Higher. You've definitely. got to, you're still working out where it fits yeah. in your kind yeah. of, whether yeah. you would choose a peated yeah. whiskey or yes. not over others. I yes. think this is a good step in the right Hugely, direction. Hugely, because the sweetness is the thing that makes it easier for yeah. me to drink. That yeah. makes it, it is, this is a delightful whiskey. Yeah, really On the finish, Ant said it's short and malty. Nikki said it was short and spicy. For me, it's very malty. Mm -hmm. A slight spice. Mm -hmm. It's very short. Mm -hmm. The finish is very, very short, I would mm -hmm. say. And is that a bad thing? I don't, I don't yeah. really know. I mean, you don't get many higher ABV whiskies that have a short finish like no. this, but it's very kind of abrupt yeah. on when it finishes. It's not a long finish at all. I'm getting more of the spiciness. Oh, definitely. Yeah. The peat isn't there at the end, but I think the spiciness and maybe some of the sweetness. Did you get the malt? Mm, maybe. I find that a hard flavour, I think, mm. to get. Yeah. yeah. But there's a, there is a spicy tingle at the end, but there's not a lot of flavour at the end is what I'm finding. Mm. I would say overall, it's a very nice whiskey. It's delightful. Yeah. Absolutely delightful. It's a, it's a, pleasant kind of I would say an everyday dram mm -hmm. it's not one that you're going to save or mm -hmm. kind of savour for mm -hmm. them I'd say it's probably for you it's a mid-range whiskey yeah. in that you wouldn't have it as your first dram no, it would you won't have it as your end one if you're feeling a bit adventurous with Pete you're going to go that sounds awful doesn't it <laughs> I have nights where I'm adventurous with Pete <laughs> yeah um yeah. It's somewhere in the middle, isn't it? Yes, yes. It's, it, it's, yes. it's a part way through it, it, the I, d I don't have to work myself up to drink yeah. this one. It's yeah. not a hefty job. Yeah. It, it, it's it's pleasantly easy to drink. Yeah. But I, I probably wouldn't... Sipper. Yeah, I wouldn't reach for it naturally, I think. All right, so overall, I think we can both agree... I'm just laughing at you. All right, then. <laughs> that sounded like so piratey. But it Keep, fits. Keeping in theme. Keeping in theme. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that do that it was again. the brumminess. <laughs> <laughs> I think what he was trying to say was the award. <laughs> can I carry on? There? Yeah. <laughs> the award that we are going to give this, if I can remember now, I've been rudely interrupted, is. Three cheers. <laughs> For the three ships, you couldn't remember. Could I you? couldn't remember that. Three cheers I was trying for to the stall three for ships. time because yeah. I couldn't remember yeah. what it was. Three and we're cheers. giving it three cheers because this is a whiskey that we both enjoyed, yeah. and sometimes that doesn't happen. Yeah, well, that Even... would be two cheers, <laughs> and one for the bottle. <laughs> 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 yeah. um, it doesn't happen very often where we get completely different notes. No. But the fact that we got different notes and we still enjoyed yeah, that's, it. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Mm. It's like you got two separate mm. notes, but they're different yeah. but we both came to the same it's, conclusion yeah. it's a good whiskey yeah. isn't it and i like those kind of notes those are the you know these are the whiskies that ant and i would sit in our bar having a conversation about you know if you went to the pub if we weren't oh. in lockdown and you would all drink the same whiskey but you'd have a conversation and yeah. somebody would say something and you'd have a bit of a conversation about it yeah you'd, you'd be going for quite but a while those are my yeah. favorite kinds of whiskies yeah. where you can just have a discussion and yeah. a difference of opinion and back and forth yeah. i like those but you like you say the difference of, opi of opinion still came back yeah to the we same still conclusion both really like this whisker yeah awesome so yeah three cheers or two cheers for the three ships <laughs> is a winner for us yeah uh, try it if you fancy it it's well worth giving a go mm -hmm. it's not that expensive no. it's well worth kind of yeah. picking up if you can um, and i was glad i had it for christmas yeah. so uh thank, thank you very much yeah. so cheers for watching and we will see you next week with another video mm -hmm.